Hello, everyone. Um, I go by Ishmili, and um, I'm glad that you have shown an interest in domain name investing. Um, it's one thing to be fascinated by an ad. It's another thing to take action. So I want to commend you for taking action and um, being in here. Um, I'm going to spend about 15 to 20 minutes or so giving you an overview of the opportunity with domain investing. It's a real casual conversation. Um, it, it doesn't matter what your background is. I believe this is something that can be applied by anyone, um, whether you're 55 years old, 75 years old, or even as young as 15, 16, 18 years old. The truth is domains have been around um, since the onset of the internet. They're the nucleus of a website and they have a tremendous amount of value. Um, so real rapidly, let's go over what we're going to be talking about in this training so that we're all aligned and we have some sort of structure. Um, first, let me introduce myself. I go by Ishmili at Ishmili on the bottom left of the screen on Instagram, Ishmili.eth on Twitter. Um, I'm a digital asset investor. Um, people go, you know, what does that mean? I, I call it digital real estate. So to me, digital real estate is any online property that you can monetize. You can sell it, you can flip it, you can lease it out, you can build it out. Um, and domains represent the easiest entry point when it comes to digital real estate, right? Um, some people buy undervalued websites. Some people buy existing businesses. Maybe it's a Shopify store that already generates six figures. Um, it costs a pretty amount of money to penetrate digital real estate from that type of route. Domains, on the other end, are very, very affordable. You can buy a .xyz domain for as little as $2. Um, you can buy a .com for $9.99 and 10x your money, 100x your money, even 10,000x your money. It's not unheard of. Um, you know, I've sold dozens and dozens of domains, and it's become something that I do full-time. Um, you know, not to brag, but I make a, a pretty decent income um, selling domain names, but it, it wasn't always that way. Um, initially, I sucked at it because I felt that the domains that I was buying were good. Sometimes I would make errors like spelling mistakes or I would buy the wrong extension. Um, and I stumbled across a guy named Ryan Colby, who was a, who was a domain broker. Ryan um, I sold over... 75 million, almost close to 100 million dollars worth of domains. Um, in fact, it's the guy that got Instagram.com their domain name. And he sold loans.org and a bunch of other domain names. Um, and he mentored me, taught me a lot of stuff about domain investing and made me look at this from a, um, a more professional view, right? And as of today, I broker names for a lot of celebrities. I work with startups who are trying to get names to leverage you know, search engine optimization. Um, you know, I, I you know, I, I have a background in marketing, but you know, my my one of my biggest income streams is in domain investing. So, uh, and I, you know, I, I'm going to be very transparent with you through this video because a lot of you guys don't know who I am. So it's sort of like a cold audience. Let's get warm. Let's get to know each other. Um, so domain investing has made a lot of people money. Let's let's let me share my screen with you. Um, bear with me. I'm doing this live. This is not any type of super prepared presentation. I'm just having a casual conversation with you guys in a digestible, relatable manner, right? So let me share my screen with you, and we can dive in a little bit, a, a little bit deeper together, and learn what we can about domain investing, right? So let's go to GoDaddy. Uh, I'm going to go to GoDaddy. I'm going to go to Google. Actually, let's just go to Google. And let's look at the top domain names sold. Top domain names sold. So here's a, um, I don't know if you guys can see my screen, but here's a list of some of the top domains sold. And I'm going to show this to you. Um, let me change the layout so we can see this very vividly, right? So these are the top domain names sold, some of the top 500 domain names sold, if you can see that. Um, you see that um, voice.com sold for 30 million, tesla.com sold for 11 million, sex.com sold for 14 million. It's on sale again for 20 million. If any of you guys are looking for a great name, <laughs> hotels.com sold for $11 million, 
and so on and so forth, right? Now, don't disqualify yourself quite yet and say, oh, I can't afford that. There are domains that sell for hundreds of dollars. There are domains that sell for thousands of dollars. In fact, that's the norm. Most domains don't sell for millions of dollars. And most domain investors are not profitable. But you have guys um, that have made a, a tremendous amount of money from domain investor. One of them is a guy who goes by the Domain King, Rich Schwartz. He's a guy that I have the honor and privilege of interviewing. Um, you guys, I'll send you the link to that interview if you're interested. It's also on YouTube. So if we were to go on YouTube, let's go to YouTube. Um, I can show you exactly where to find that interview. So we have a Digital Real Estate Academy channel, but if you go on YouTube and go meet the Domain King, You'll be able to watch my interview with Rich Schwartz. Rich Schwartz is an interesting guy. I mean, this guy sold porno.com for $8.9 million, and he bought that name for $42,000. Um, he's, he's made a lot of money from domain investing. Um, he's been doing this for many, many years. Um, another guy that I had an, um, the privilege of interviewing was a gentleman by the name of Frank Schilling. Um, you know, that's my interview with Frank Schilling. It's also in the same... YouTube channel, which is Digital Real Estate Academy, in case you're looking for it. Um, so Frank, um, if you want to see something crazy, sold his portfolio to GoDaddy. Who wants to guess how much? Sold his portfolio, Frank Schilling, GoDaddy portfolio. Frank sold his portfolio to GoDaddy for what was assigned as $88.5 million, right? And in the interview that we have on YouTube, he talks about how he sold his first, how he made his first $100,000 in domain investing. So I've been studying this science and art of domain investing intently over the past couple of years. It's something that I'm super passionate about. And I realize a lot of people right now that could benefit from the knowledge that I've amassed, right? Um, you know, I've had great mentors. The most successful domain investors have given me their time. I've done business with some of them. I've worked with um, some of the titans in this business, dot club, dot hip hop, um, you know, donuts. Donuts is a company that owns 300 extensions, right? So I, I've, I've, I've been, um, I've had the benefit of having proximity to very successful domain investors and they've been sort of like my extended community and it's a big part of why i've been successful with domain investing and you know i make in a given month sometimes six figures from a domain name and it's not something that you you it's it's not impossible for you guys to have the same results what you need is education and you need to be part of a community of like-minded people so here's what we're going to cover today um in this free training, right? Um, and then you you make the decision at the end of the presentation if this is something that you want to take to the next level. If this is something that you feel could change your 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 um, you know your earnings. This is something that you you could um, build wealth with. This is something you want to do as a part time thing. This is something you want to do as a full time thing. But there's a learning curve with everything and. I believe that we have the tools and the resources to accelerate that um, learning curve and allow you to avoid critical mistakes, allow you to maximize your profits, and allow you to just benefit from you know the mistakes of others, learn hacks, strategies, and tips, so that if you decide that you want to be a profitable domain investor, you'll be well on your way. So I'm going to share my screen one more time and um, dive right into this. So. There are three main things we're going to cover today, right? Let me let me look at my notes for a second. Um, the first thing we're going to cover is, um, you know, how to research potential names for investment and understanding what makes a profitable name. Look, with a, there's an infinite combination of words, numbers, and even emojis um, that you can, you know, combine to make a domain name. Um, you know, the 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 companies out there in the domain industry like GoDaddy, Name.com, they will not stop you from registering a horrible name. There's not, there's not going to be a red light or a yellow light or a thumbs up or a thumbs down when you go out there registering names. They're in the business of monetizing registration of names, right? A lot of people also don't know the fact that 
Every single day, 90,000 names expire. In fact, it's about 100,000 names that expire, right? So how do you find names that sell, right? So one of the first websites, and you might want to take a note, that you definitely want to be familiar with um, if you're looking to um, become a successful domain name investor is a website called, are you ready for this drum roll? Namebio.com. So I'm on namebio.com right now. I'm gonna verify that you can see my screen. Boom. Okay, so we're on namebio.com. Namebio is a domainer's, um, one of the weapons a domainer uses, right? So the beautiful thing about Namebio is Namebio allows you to research names that people have sold, right? People report their sales every day. Um, for example, just today, let me refresh this. This is from a couple of days ago. Um, someone sold necessaryclothing.com just today for 12,250. Someone sold Studio News Online for 8,600. CodeX.com sold for 7,700. As you can see, these are not million dollar sales, but these are names that domainers are sold on different marketplaces. Um, you know, there's Dynadot, there's GoDaddy, there's Cedo, there's Buy Domains, there's Namejet, um, you know, Divers Minds, Lockbox.com.br, which is .brazil. Um, so these names are sold for thousands of dollars, right? Um, so how do you research names um, that have a potential for investment? You want to look at what names are sold. Um, the cool thing about name buyers, you can put in the keyword. So let's say I want to look for a name related to crypto. I can put in crypto, I can search, and name buyer is going to give me um, crypto names that have sold recently, right? So cryptogas.com just sold today. Um, I'm recording this on January 25th of 2023 um, for $870. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is a name someone registered for ten dollars right cryptocity.co sold for 114 um cryptocoding.net sold for 562 um so you can you can get a vibe or a comp of what names are selling for cryptobuddy.com sold for 1550. the cool thing is there, there, there are over 1200 extensions out there so if you see a name for example we can search by price cryptowall.com sold for one of one ninety five thousand CryptoUniversity.com sold for $125,000. CryptoBank sold for $125,000. So I'll take this word CryptoBank.com, right? If I'm interested in that name, I'm going to try to see what other extension that name is available on. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I need some water. I'm getting so excited, guys. Anyways, so what I what I would do is I'll go on another website called .bb. Dot com. I'm giving you guys the gems and I'll put in crypto bank, right? And it's going to show me what name, what extensions this name has been registered in, right? So you see crypto bank has been taken in 140 extensions, right? So they've already taken crypto bank.de, crypto bank.in, crypto bank.jp, um, you know, crypto bank.io, crypto bank.no, marketing. So I can now take this and look for other extensions that haven't been registered. But there's something called the radio test, right? For example, cryptobank.clothing wouldn't make too much sense, right? Um, cryptobank.technology makes more sense, right? Cryptobank.credit card makes sense. Cryptobank.la, right? Eh, maybe that's a good one, right? Now, there are tools out there that we use to evaluate names but they aren't reliable. I must caution you. One of those tools is actually GoDaddy's valuation tool. So if you if you go on Google and you search GoDaddy valuation tool, um, you'll be able to see the value of a name. Now remember, crypto crypto banks sold for over 100 grand. This valuation tool is going to give us, you know, based off GoDaddy's algorithm, what they perceive that name to be worth, right? But it gives you an idea. Um, if a name, if you're on the right path, right? If it says zero dollars, then it's probably a shitty name, you know. So, Crypto Bank has an, a value of 17,802, right? And it shows you some comps around that microbank.i.com, Crypto Bank spelled with the K sold for 2,500, Microbank sold for 21,000 in that order. 
and then it'll show you names um, that they think are, you know, similar that are still available. So as you can see, crypto banks sold for three thousand, crypto gold sold for nineteen thousand. So we might want to go back to um, dot db. Now I'm, I'm showing you how you can find great names, right? Dot db dot com, and let's put up um, what was that? What was that again? It was um, crypto gold. Let's put in crypto gold and see how many extensions that has been registered in. So crypto gold has been registered in 72 extensions, right? So now we can really, really dig in and try to see if we can find something that is relatable. relatable. But keep in mind, keep this in mind, .com is king. Most businesses want to use .com. .com has the most demand. And the truth is, most buyers will value a .com more than any other extension, right? So if, you, if you're interested in maximizing the value of a domain name, always go for the .com. However, the .coms are usually not available, right? Especially if you hand register them. There, there's practically no um, dictionary word .com still left. It's, it's very rare. If you find one, register right away and call me. I'll buy it from you <laughs> for a good amount of money. And we do buy names uh, at Dre Academy um, from our students, of course. Um, now, another thing you want to pay attention to is, you know, does the name, again, like I said, the radio test, does the name sound correct? Does it sound, does it make any sense, right? For example, I'm seeing here someone has crypto gold dot monster. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Someone else has crypto gold dot you know, let's see, dot live. Interesting. Crypto gold dot net dot org dot X, Y, Z. Um, you know, that's interesting. So let's go back to um, name bio. Now, one thing I want to mention is, you know, digital real estate is not a stagnant thing. It evolves like everything else, right? So another another thing that you want to pay attention to is, you know, when you see this significant dot com sales, right? Think about how you can get the Web three name, and we'll dive into that because I'm sure a lot of you guys go, "What is Web three? What is Web one? What is Web two? Right? Um, you know, the Web three will be the dot ETH name, right? So maybe Crypto Gold dot ETH is still available, right? Um, and I can do the research right now. Just one second. Let me. Um, stop sharing this and I'm going to go to another screen where we can research the ENS version, right? So this is something that we, I don't expect us to grasp all this right away. Um, I didn't learn this overnight, but one thing we can do is we can definitely search if crypto gold has been taken in the ENS side because ENS is something that, you know, you go to a website called ENS.vision and as you can see, someone is already register crypto gold and it expires in two years, right? So that's gone, right? So that's another extension that won't show up on .db that you wanna pay good attention to because um, I'll show you this, um, not, to, not to get too far away from what we're talking about, but this is what some of these .eth names have been selling for. These are the top sales in the last 24 hours. 019.eth sold for 24 Ethereum and 24 Ethereum today will be, we can, we can, we, Ethereum right now is about 1,555. You multiply that by, by 30, by, by 30, how much was it? So for 20, 24 ETH, you know, and that's the amount that, that that's valued at. So, you know, some of the top sales in the last 30 days, you know, 333.ETH sold for one, Ethereum American dot each sold for 31 Ethereum a few days ago, which was about 50 something thousand dollars, right? So, you know, what this is why you need to be part of a community of people that are like minded. You can't learn domain investing in one day, right? And you certainly will not learn it from a free training. The, the whole purpose of this training is to give you an overview so that you can at least. Com com um, conclude the obvious fact that this is a lucrative thing, right? Um, another thing I want to show you guys next is, you know, proven strategies of buying and selling domain names, reselling them to end users and monetizing them. So a lot of people will buy domain names and literally just 
expect the name to sell itself, right? They expect people to, you know, knock on their door and be like, hey, I believe you own CryptoGold.com. I would like to buy that from you. It doesn't always work like that. Um, sometimes you have to be proactive. And one of the things that we teach at Digital Real Estate Academy is how to outbound domain names. How do you find a potential buyer for a name and create, for lack of better words, visibility for your name? Because um, without visibility, you're just another option, especially with over 1,400 extensions. Extension meaning what's to the right of the domain. So you might have CryptoGold.com. .com is an extension. .io is an extension. .net is an extension. There are 1,400 of those. So in order for you to stand out, one, you want to register quality names. You want to know what similar names are selling for. So you have that data, right? Another tool that we use to evaluate names, um, and I'm going to share my screen one more time, is, and this one is a little bit more stingy when it comes to appraisals. Um, this one is called Estabot, right? Estabot.com. Estabot.com. So if we went to Estabot.com, and we put in crypto gold. Let's see what the value will be. Oops, type that wrong. Crypto. So easy to mistype names and pay pay for them. And the cool thing is, if you register a name and it's a misspelling, you can call GoDaddy within three days and request a refund. That's another hack you just learned. So as you can see, Estabot is valuing this name at $119,000, which we all know is sold for a lot more than that, right? So these valuation tools, you got to take them with a grain of salt. Um, but the cool thing about them is, you know, they, they give you some sort of guide as to the value of a name, right? So we'll move on. Um, and the final thing I'm going to talk about, and then I'll tell you how you can get started with this, is how to get ahead of the competition. Um, with techniques capitalizing on changes in this booming industry and turning it into a successful career, right? So, you know, this is just a tip of the iceberg, what I've shown you. Um, you know, domain investing is, you know, an art and a science. There are people like I showed you guys who have made life-changing money from it. Um, you know, I can't wait till the day that I sell a name for a million dollars. My highest sale to date is $125,000. And you know, I literally took the rest of the month off. <laughs> you, do you blame me? I bought the name for $37. And dozens of times uh, I hand registered the name for $37. Um, dozens of times I've, you know, bought names in the auction. Um, you know, there's a website called expireddomains.net where people go on and scout names every day. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've gone to actual auctions um, like at NamesCon where I bought NFC auctions or XYZ. I think I paid $150 for it. The name is listed for $5,000. Um, I've sold a lot of names at 50X, 100X, 2000X, um, or even higher. And I believe that you guys can do the same. It starts with your mindset um, and how badly do you want this information. So to dive deeper into domain investing, here's my suggestion, right? My role model in this domain investing journey has been a gentleman by the name of Ryan Colby. Ryan, um, you know, was, like I told you guys, I sold close to $100 million worth of names. And he showed me the ropes, right? He was like a coach. And, you know, I, I pleaded with Ryan to create a course called um, Profitable Domain Investing a few years ago. And that course has been um, a tool that almost 200 people have, you know, used to you know fast track their journey in domain investing some of these people even have a ton of experience of domain investing and they still found value in this course right you're never too smart to learn so what we've done is you know we this course we sold this course for as much as 1997 and then we reduced it to 997. um you know if you don't believe in yourself then you wouldn't take the next step you're gonna watch this video and you would have wasted your time. I'm gonna go back to what I do, which is selling names. And one day I'm gonna hit that million dollar sale. I'm gonna go my way and you're gonna go your way. But if you wanna join us and be part of our community, which is Digital Real Estate Academy, then the next step is very simple. 
get the profitable domain investing course. And, you know, it comes with a seven day money back guarantee. So this it's literally risk free and, you know, study the content. Um, and once you purchase the course, we'll send you a link to our private telegram group where you can ask questions. Um, you can connect with other domain name investors. In fact, you can also sell your names on there. We have an ongoing marketplace on there. It's one of the channels. Um, and you become part of the domain community. You start learning by, you know, proximity. You start learning um, by, you know, having the right intentions. You want to learn about domain investing. You surround yourself with domain investors, right? With different levels of experience. And before you know it, you make your first sale, you make your next sale, and you'll be on your way. So that's all I can say. But that's an investment that's very much worth it. And that's how we separate the guys that are serious from the tire kickers. So for those of you guys that really want to be on this domain journey, purchase that course, and then we'll, we'll send you the link to Telegram. We'll be able to answer any questions you have, and we'd love to have you as another successful, profitable domain name investor. Enjoy your day. And I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of other videos after this um, that will, um, you know, show you more about the opportunity with domain investing. But I'm very, very glad that you spent the last 30 minutes or so with me um, learning about an overview of the opportunity with domain investing. Peace and blessings. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I sold a domain name that I hand registered for less than $40 seven thousand dollars about a year later the name of the domain as you can see is art auction.io right there the name was registered on february 14 2021 i'm going to show you the proof right there boom um and you know when i registered this name i registered this name because you know i thought art auction was a good thing i was surprised the name was available and that's one of those things that you just become better at if you want to go the hand registration route most good names are already taken, right? So if you find good names like this, it's because you've worked on the skill of hand registration, which like I said, you get better at, right? So anyways, there's the proof that I sold the name. The name was sold for $7,000 to GoDaddy. You'll get 7,000 on the sale of artauction.io once the transfer is complete. Boom, let's see the fact, let's see. The payout was scheduled, the domain transfer is complete. We've completed the transfer of the auction of art auction.io and your payout of 7,000 has been scheduled. Um, that's a simple story. I sold a name that cost me less than $40 plus a renewal of 30, cost me $37.99, a renewal of $37.99 a year later. And I sold it for $7,000. Hello, this is Ryan Colby. I want to welcome you to Profitable Domain Name Investing. I'm so excited. My e-training course has just launched with DRE.Academy. And in this course, I'm going to teach you the insider secrets to making money with domain names, how to become a profitable domain name investor, and how to become a profitable domain name broker. You don't want to miss uh, the opportunity to get this knowledge. Now's an excellent time to double down on learning and education. Get the skills you need today to become a profitable domain investor. I want to encourage you to go ahead and swipe up and get the launch price now. Uh, the price of the course will be moving up shortly, and we'd love to lock you in at the special launch price today. And uh, I look forward to meeting you soon 